<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gents. Chris here. Good morning, ladies and gents. Chris here from DE Razor Shaving with a new shave video. How y'all doing today? Hopefully you're doing pretty good because I'm doing pretty good too. Probably thinking, where have you been? You been sick? No, nope, haven't been sick. What happened the last couple of weeks is they switched my mom's schedule and they started giving her the weekends off. She usually works during like the uh, um, has like Monday or Tuesday off and then she works on the weekend but the last couple of weeks they gave her the weekends off so I have not been doing any videos but we are going to be doing a video today so let's get started mm, razor we're gonna be <laughs> it's been a few weeks I don't remember how to do these razor we're gonna be going with we're gonna be going with my car shaving company we're gonna be using the overlander with a knob handle and a red tip I thought it fit like color wise and stuff. Uh, three days worth of growth. I did where I did shave on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today is Friday, eleven fifty one a.m. So yes, it is still morning time. Another nine minutes, and then it'll be afternoon. De blade. We're gonna be going with a treat carbon steel de blade. I used one of these the other day, and it worked out okay. So hopefully, it'll work out again. Okay. Yeah, they're the black ones. Whoa, that's what we're using. It matches really good with the razor, like blends right in. You can't, uh, can't see it. I can't see, Flo. Get that loaded up in there with the washer, because I use a washer. And, okay, got that all loaded in there. Brush or <laughs> soap we're going to be going with. Going to be using something... This is actually the very first soap I actually picked up from PAA. I drove to Razor Emporium many, many, many moons ago. The old Razor Emporium warehouse or shop. I smell all the PAA stuff, and this was the very first one I picked up, and I still have the old label on this one. So that's the one. This is what I use for the thumbnail. And yeah, so it's the old label. This is old CK1. You can see Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And yeah, that's when they used to put stickers on Razor Porium. PAA, that's our item number, PAA 012, and the CK1 was $14.95 back then. So yeah, I like that label, so that's what I use for the thumbnail, because that label looks pretty damn awesome. And plus, I just kept it my only kill tub I've ever had. <laughs> so, but we're just going to be using this one. And yes, this is the same CK1. And that is the scent we're going to be doing shaving with today. Oh, this is an awesome cologne type scent. So the scent profile is rose, sage, bergamot, citrus, wood, and amber. A classic cologne scent. This is reminiscent of a bygone era. This scent does not smell like any kind of libation or spirit, but rather a mood. Think the great Gatsby. It's like a cologne sophisticated, awesome type scent. Yes, and I one of my favorites. Very first one I picked up. That's the PAA. Brush we're going to be going with, since I'm thinking Gary Gatsby, speakeasy type thing. Going to be using my Jim Beam shot glass, <laughs> Jim Beam shot glass brush that I made. And I have this one loaded with a Maggers 24mm synthetic knot. Matthew Lawrence... He won the Badger one, so he actually owns that one, but I still have the synthetic one. Appreciate what we're going with is Ice Tube 2.0. We're scraping it with the PAA pick and the Panera bowl, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Put the face, hot water, hot water. After these messages, we'll be right back. Guys, remember those cartoons from the Saturday mornings? <laughs> ABC. Saturday morning cartoons, yes. Saturday morning cartoons were cool back in the day. Ice tube 2.0. And then I always rinse it underneath. Just like this, rinse it. And then I let this sit out for like 24 hours, just let it dry. So I don't just take the cap, cap it back on when I'm done. I let this sit for about 24 hours and I cap it up. And then I put it back in the medicine cabinet. The cabinet de medicina. Medicina. CK1. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is such a good scent. Like I said, this is my very first scent that I picked up from PAA. From Razor Emporium. 
drove down there and I smell all different scents and this is the one that spoke to me. Speakeasy. <laughs> so it's been a few weeks. How have you guys been doing? I'm sounding good again. I don't have that cold anymore. That was horrible. Yeah, it was oh, terrible, 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 terrible. And it's starting to warm up here a little bit more. It's still like 60, 50 or 60 at night. But the daytime is starting to get like the high 70s and 80s. I'm like, ugh, summertime's coming gross. And we still have all the winter visitors here. So I'll be standing at the door at work. And they'll be leaving looking outside. They're all, it's going to be a wonderful day today. Some of them like um, Canada and stuff. They're like a bit, It's going to be a wonderful day today, eh? And I go, why do you say that? And they're like, look at the nice bright sunshine. It's nice and warm out. And I'm like, gross. They're like, huh? What do you mean? I'm like, I'm an Arizona native and I've lived here for 45 years. I hate summertime here and I don't like sun. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, you should try to stay in. Stay here for one of our summers and you would understand why we hate it so much in the summertime. More water? Was that a tip? Yeah, our summers are brutal. Ooh, but you all get to go back to Minnesota and Canada and Iowa and Michigan. We deal with the summers. Yep. Oh, CK1. CK1's good. Yeah. All right, I think I'm good. I don't need the ladder there for like an hour. Pass number one with the treat carbon steel. Carbon steel. Oh, nice. These treats are really good. Treat for your face. Three days worth of growth, not bad. Yesterday, I actually been kind of busy. So, one thing yesterday, last night, started cleaning the garage. <laughs> There's a ton of crap in there and stuff. So, did that last night for a couple hours. And where I'm at, our trash day is on Friday. So, I was getting everything ready. Throwing it all in the trash. Putting the trash out there and filling the trash can up as much as I could. And then the trash guy came the mor this morning. So then I did some more cleaning and I filled the trash can a little bit up with more. Now the garage looks good. Oof. Doing early spring cleaning. Just getting rid of stuff. And then also yesterday, which I'm going to do more today, for all you musicians out there, my Fender guitar, my Fender Squire Mustang. What I did, how the, how the must, how the, uh, a lot of the Fenders come with that lacquer, the real thick lacquer that they put on their guitar necks. Doesn't matter what, um, a Stratocaster, Telecaster, it doesn't matter. They put that thick lacquer on there. And sometimes your finger will stick or it'll, it'll just, like, if you sweat or something. So I did, I was looking on YouTube videos, the way you could sand it down. And you could sand it down just to take that gloss off. So that's what I was doing. But what I did, <laughs> I sanded all of it off. I took it down to bare wood. I was trying, what I was trying to do was do like a, um, do that relic -y vintage look to it, and I totally screwed it up. I used like this gray stain, and it just didn't do it lot, not look right at all. So now today, what I'm going to be doing is sanding all that stain back off. Still down to, uh, bare wood, but yeah. Stand, I'm gonna stand, <laughs> sand off that stain. And then seal the wood, and it'll be good. And try rhyme right there. Seal the wood, and it'll be good. And then what I use is, I've been using the uh, Howard's Wax and Feed. But the guys were saying that you can use something called um, tongue oil. So, yeah. That's what I've been up to lately. Nothing special.
really hear that. Chop right through. I think I'm gonna do two passes. I'm just gonna do one. Yeah, one pass is good. Those tree blades are pretty good. All right, I'm gonna start you a question. Oh, it's speakeasy. It smells so good. Mm. For all y'all watching, new or old, have you guys tried speakeasy? If so, what do you think? I think it smells good. Plus, it's kind of nostalgia-y for me. That's nostalgia-y. I don't know if that's a word. Just because it's my very first uh, PAA scent that I bought. I'm a bit tuggy on the mustache today. A bit tuggy. Good though, yeah. Good, good, good. I'm good. I'm doing more pass, that's fine. It's your shave, do it your way. Very close, yeah. We've got what, what, the weird spot for one. All right, clean up it on beer pack. Oh, get him back. Very close, very smooth, efficient. Yeah, that goat that goat lander is a very good razor. Yeah, one there, and there you go. One there, but this should be fine. P. A. L. Black. This is the cold water. Cold water. Cold water. Yeah. See if we get any sting. Should get one right there. I know I nicked myself right there. No sting on it though. Oh, weird. There's one right there. That one's leaking. No sting though. That's weird. Huh. Pretty good shave. No sting there. That's weird. That's. <laughs> Well, the cut is you don't get no sting, but there's no cuts yet. Yeah, sting. That's that's odd. Very very odd. Oh well. All right. We're gonna be going with the matching aftershave. Phoenix Artisan and Cougar Treatment Speakeasy Aftershave and Cologne. And I have the old old bottle. This is the one I got from Razor Emporium long long. I can't really remember how long ago. Long time ago. Many many years ago. That's how much I have left in it. What I want to do though is I want to buy a new bottle. And then open this one up, pour all the new stuff into here. That way, that way I keep the bottle because that's an awesome label. Awesome. And this scent is so, so good. Tripped out of there. Don't waste it. I don't have that much. <laughs> oh, I used to have the EDP, but that's long, long gone. But yes, oh, it's a nice, good cologne type scent. We're going to use more. And that reducer just... <laughs> nice, good cologne type scent. That's what I felt like using, so. <coughs> Kept that up. So fresh is so clean, clean. Just don't eat it. Don't eat the soap and don't drink the aftershave. Yeah. Eating the soap. No, look like an idiot doing that. <laughs> All right, that is the shave of the day, ladies and gents. And it was a damn good one. So yeah, very close, very smooth, very efficient. That one's still leaking right there. That one healed up fine. So let's recap what we used today. We used from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, Speakeasy, Aftershave, and Cologne with the old labor. You got the lady right there with the guy. You got the fedora on, they're hanging out. I'm trying to focus on that there. You can see it better. Cool. Also used PAA Alm Block. Pre shave was Phoenix Service and Accoutrements Ice Tube 2.0. Pre shave. 
the eraser we went with is the Carve Overlander top cap and base plate with a red tip knob handle. And loaded up in there is a first use treat carbon steel DE blade. Very nice. I'm about to put some alum on that or styptic stick on that one. That was leaking. Leaking. Brush we went with. We went with the brush I made. This is a Jim Beam shot glass brush with a Maggard 24 millimeter synthetic knot that I, I made. Yours truly. So I made that. Yes. All mixed in my Pereira bowl. Wood color one. I use cowboy pick. Nice thick pick. Thick pick. Thick pick. And star of the show today. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. Speak easy. Artesian shave soap. She's just hanging out right there. Run the label. There's my old label. Did that one for the thumbnail. Yeah, you see the girl there and the guy right there. Very, very cool hanging out with the hanging out in the speakeasy. Don't tell anybody. Yes. Cologne like. Sophisticated like. Very good scent. And it's the very first one I got from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And it's a good one. So that is the shave of the day, ladies and gents. Did I forget anything? No, I did not. I did not forget anything. <coughs> I'm dying. So, hopefully it's not going to take a couple more weeks. If it does, well, then it's, it is what it is. So, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully, you ladies and gents, have a good day, good week, good shaves, more to come. And I will hopefully <laughs> see you ladies and gents soon.